Greetings, trombonists at large. I am the Vagrant Trombone, back again. It's been a while. <laughs> and so, I guess, yes, things have changed. Things have changed. And, um, well, I got to thinking, uh, I have a lot of people who've recently signed up on my channel, and, well, I feel a little guilty because I haven't created any content on this channel for quite some time. So I thought maybe I would get around to it today. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, you know, I really haven't really thought much about what I might talk about today, because, as I said, I haven't really been creating much content. And as we're kind of coming back from uh, something different... <laughs> And uh, getting back to something different, uh, one of the things I thought was interesting that have come up, there have been a couple of interesting things that I've had uh, the opportunity to, to opportunity to think about as far as playing and other things. I actually thought maybe I might quit, but uh, the powers that be decided that I shouldn't do that. And that's what brings me to my topic. My topic today is you need to learn the G clef. The G clef. Now, that's the treble clef. It's uh, the one that looks like this, or that's uh, you'd be that would be backwards to you. It would, it would look like this, and the little line where it curly cues around loops around the G line in the upper clef. Now, the reason why it does that is because I don't have any grand staff music here, but on a grand staff you would have lines on the bottom and the top, and if you were to put a middle C on the piano, it would lie right there in between the two sets of lines on the grand staff. You have the bass clef on the bottom and the treble clef on the top. Now, why is it important for you to know that G clef? Well, uh, as I've been coming back to playing and playing with some bands and doing some other things, I have once again run into the situation where at first guys say, let's just come to my house and we'll jam. Okay, go to their house and jam. And if I bring one of these, it all works out fine has that on it. But most of the time, I'm not finding that that is the case. They will have one of these, which has terrifying treble clef written in it. And if you can't read treble clef, you're going to have a terrible time. Now, one of the nice things about playing the trombone is the trombone is a C non-transposing instrument. And because of that, the changes are the same. But you've got to know how to read the treble clef. It's not transposing treble clef, okay? It's reading treble clef. The reason why it's not transposing treble clef is because uh, with older instruments like the trombone or, or a stringed instruments, when the note that they see on the staff is the note that you would play on a piano, okay? With many of the modern instruments, it's not like that. If they see a C, they play whatever their C fingering would be, like open. But the note that comes out is a B flat. So, like a trumpet is written as a B-flat instrument. So, their B-flat scale looks like a C scale in treble clef, but it's not. It's a whole step off. And so, there are two hidden flats in that scale, and it sounds a whole step lower than it would if you were to play it on the piano. Now, the clarinet is the same way, and when you run into the saxophone family, it's definitely an issue when you've got, uh, when you've got a family of of saxophones, E flat, um, B flat, that it can get pretty, it can get pretty hairy. French horn written in F. You got to read that stuff like it's in F. That's a tough transposition. Now, if you're going to want to work on transposition, the first one to try to tackle is B flat because it's similar to tenor clef, with the exception of two hidden flats. So that can be complicated, but that's a topic for another time. Maybe I'll talk about that some other time. What I want to talk about is reading in the G clef or the treble clef. And the reason why that is important is because uh, if you go to someone's house and they just want to play, you want to be able to read those th those uh, those notes. And uh, like I said, the trombone is a non-transposing instrument. So we don't transpose into treble clef. We actually play the note that is written. So if it's a written C, you play a C. If it's a written G, you play high G and you play it in that extended range up there. Oftentimes I will 
transpose it down an octave because I don't like dancing around on double high G above the staff, above the treble clef staff. That's a little rough. Um, but uh, oftentimes when I go to play at people's houses, we're reading out of standard books and or uh, you know someone says oh I love Broadway let's play out of a Broadway book well again you're gonna be you're gonna be faced with the grand staff and the vocal part is gonna be written in treble clef so it is really important to know how to read in treble clef I recommend that you learn to read all of your clefs there's the treble clef of course the bass clef then there's tenor clef and alto clef alto clef is probably the one that you need to Le worry about least and save it for last if you want because uh, my experience is the only time I ever see alto clef is when I'm reading classical music and even a lot of classical music these days is written in tenor clef. Um, I, in commercial music I have run into the tenor clef and I have run into the G clef, the treble clef. I have run into the tenor clef and the treble clef many many times and uh, it's just something that you want to be able to uh, know how to read. And oftentimes when I'm working with a school, I will get a, a, a score. It won't be a complete score. So it's just a C score. And when it's a C score, it, the, the key of the score may be B flat, but it's called a C score because all of the instruments are written as if they played non-transposing C. So it's a grand staff, a bass clef, and a treble clef. And you really, really need to know how to read those parts. I've also had experiences where, I, where they don't have a trombone part. They don't have a... Or the bass player is playing the uh, bass clef part. And they hand me a score. And then I've got to try to read off of a piano score. So uh, as we're coming back from all this pandemonium, I highly recommend that uh, if you have a little free time and uh, you really want to improve your, your uh, ability to read music, learn your clefs. Start with the treble clef, then move on to the tenor and alto clef. And, uh, well, I guess that's about it for today. And I want to thank all those people for coming around who uh, who have decided to latch on to this channel. Uh, with us coming out of this pandemonious moment, maybe I'll start committing to more content on this channel as I haven't really been producing much. I have been busy making videos, and I guess that's one of the reasons why I haven't, uh, I haven't really been doing much. Just to let you know what I've been doing, I've been actually creating videos as tutorials for a school district. Well, they changed band directors. The Great Resignation came along, and the band director I was working with, as well as the uh, the head of the department, both left that school district. So I will no longer be doing that. And uh, between you and me, I was I was kind of glad to get the break because I was getting really tired of making weekly tutorials. On, on their topics instead of just being able to do my own thing like I do here um, or in a private lesson. Uh, I've had to actually plan and make out lesson plans and, and map things and, you know, oh, lists and ooh. So when I no longer needed to make videos, I just, ah, I decided I would just take a break from it altogether. And um, I've been kind of goofing off. So... Now that I'm starting to get back to it, maybe uh, we can all uh, get back to it too. And well, I hope you find this interesting. I hope that you found this valuable. I don't know how valuable it is to have someone tell you, learn your treble clef. But if you want to start playing with other groups and people and making new friends and just trying new things, it's really, really a help if you know how to read your clefs. So I hope you found, again, huh, maybe I'll see you on the bandstand. Thanks for watching.